Okay, so there is another method in dividing a polynomial versus a monomial. So this one is division of a polynomial. Then, for 7 yan, 
a cube divided by a squared. So let's just subtract the um, 3 minus 2 in the exponent and put it in room a the also numerator. And then b squared divided by b. So meron niya invisible one again. Put it in the left room b. And this one is the answer. Ngayon, this is the second method. The long division is 25 a squared b squared minus 15 a to the fourth b cubed plus 35 a cubed b squared. Okay? Divided by 5 a squared. Okay? So how many 5 a squared did I get? So what do you got to win you? Okay, what's the answer? And the answer is 5b. Okay? And 5b times 5a squared is equal to 25a squared. And then b times b, that is b squared. And subtract. <coughs> so cancel nga. Kasi, change the sign of the subtrend. This is negative. Then change the operation to addition. So positive plus negative is it. So let's bring down the other term, 15a to the fourth over b cubed. So if we divide the one, and the answer is minus 3a squared b squared. And if you're going to multiply negative 3 times 5, that is negative 15, then a squared times a squared, a to the fourth, b squared times b is equal to b cubed. Then, change the sign of the subtrend again and proceed to addition. So, negative 15 plus positive 15, that is 0 again. Then, bring down the last term, which is positive 35a cubed b squared. So, 35 divided by 5, that is 7. A cubed divided by A squared, A. B squared divided by B, that is B. And 7AB times 5A squared B is equal to 35A cubed B squared. Then subtract. Change the sign of the subtrahend, then proceed to addition, no remainder. So this one is the answer. It's the same as this one. So this one is the long division. This one is the um, method detachment. It's a sinaseparate natin sa mga. Okay, ito po yung method detachment, which is also a long division. Okay, now, bakit ko tinuro yung long division? Kasi, ang long division ay kailangan natin if we're going to divide a polynomial x squared minus 2x plus 1 divided by x minus 1. So, kailangan na natin ang long division pagdating dito. Ito katulad siya kanina doon sa dividing a monomial, a polynomial by a monomial, or a monomial divided by a monomial. So this one is a long division, division of polynomial by a binomial. So this time, it's not a monomial, it's a binomial na. So, kailangan na natin dito na long division. Okay? So, this is the first method. This is the second method. So, x squared minus 2x plus 1 divided by x minus 1. Okay. Kapag kayo ay nag-divide, ang titignan nilang lagi itong unang term. What? Huwag niyo i-mind na itong second term. So, ito muna. x squared divided by x. Okay? So, x squared 
divided by x, ganyan yun. Huwag nyo intindihin mo na itong negative 1. So, what is the quotient? It is only x. Okay? Then, multiply ko balik para makuha yung difference. x times x is equal to x squared. Now, you have to mind the negative 1 kapag pabalik na. So, x times negative 1 is equal to x or 1x. And then, let us subtract. Okay, change the sign first of the subtrahend and then proceed to addition. So, this one is cancelled na. So, ito rin, to change natin yung sign. So, negative 2 plus positive 1, that is 1, di ba? May invisible 1 tayo. And the yung x, copy lang natin. So, negative 2x, yun yun yun, plus, plus x. So, ito yung answer. Negative x. Get the sign of the larger number. Okay? The next, let's bring down 1. Okay? So, ito naman daw yung hindi-divide natin dito. Dito lang muna sa x, ha? The first term ulit, tuwing mag-divide. Pagpabalik, tsaka tayo na mag multiply. So, negative x divided by x daw. Okay? So, negative, negative 1, yung visible 1 yan. Tapos ito rin ay may 1. Negative 1 divided by 1 is equal to negative 1 pa rin. And x divided by x is 1. So, negative 1 times 1 is equal to negative 1. So, negative 1 yung sagot natin dito. So, kung negative 1 times x, pabalik na tayo ulit. We have to multiply para makuha natin yung difference kasi kailangan mag-zero yung sa division, di ba? Or, kailangan natin kung may remainder. So, negative 1 times x is equal to negative x, negative 1 times negative 1 is equal to positive 1. Then, let's change the signs of the subtrahend. Then, proceed to addition. So, negative x plus positive x is cancelled. Positive 1 plus negative 1 is also cancelled. So, this one is the answer. If we are going to check x minus 1 times times x minus 1 we have if we're going to do the FOIL method we have x squared and then negative x then the inner negative x and then the last positive 1 so x squared negative x and negative x, we have negative 2x plus 1, which is this one. Okay? <coughs> okay, let's have another example. x squared minus 25 divided by x minus 5. Okay? So this one, it's a binomial divided by a binomial. So, let's get the long division. x squared minus 25 all over x minus 5. So, titignan nyo lang ulit itong first term. So, x squared divided by x. Tignan nyo natin. x squared divided by x. So, natira lang ay x. Okay? Then, multiply multiply it back, x times x that is x squared and x times negative 5, that is ok, now we are going to divide ganun pa rin, yung polynomial by a binomial so, paano naman kung this one is a binomial and this one is also a binomial pero, look at the given x squared, tapos naging constant agad. Wala na lang transition. Ito dapat, meron yung transition. So, x squared, ok, 
okay? So, kung may nawawalan um, uh, variable dito, lagyan niya na plus um, x, diba nawawala yun? Zero yung numerical coefficient niya. And then, tsaka pa lang yung constant. So, dadagdagan niyo na. Okay? Kapag may kulang, kailangan sunod-sunod ang degree ng polynomial. So, this one is squared. Ito naman ay yung invisible one. And then, the constant. Laging ganun ang arrangement sa so division. Okay? So, let us now divide. x squared divided by x. Like this. So, you just have to subtract yung exponent. 2 minus 1 is equal to x. x times x is equal to x squared. x times negative 5 that is negative 5x. Then let us subtract. Change the signs of the subtrahend. And then proceed to addition. So this one is cancelled. So positive 0x plus positive 5x. So this one is positive. Okay? So positive 5x, let's bring down the last term. So, 5x minus 25 ka, divided by x. So, 5x over x. Okay? So, this one is cancelled. Kasi, may exponent in a 1. So, magiging 1 na lang sila. Kasi, x divided by x is 1. Diba? Dito na na lang tayo 5. And don't forget the <coughs> side. So, this one is positive 5. <coughs> So, kung positive 5 yan, then you have to multiply again. Multiply nyo ba ulit? Positive 5 times x, that is 5x. And 5 times negative 5 is equal to negative 5. Then let's change the sign of the subtrahend because this is subtraction. So this one becomes negative. This one becomes positive. And change the operation to addition. So, positive 5x plus negative 5x is cancelled. Negative 25 plus positive 25 is positive. So, so then the answer is x plus 5. Now, let us check kung tama ang answer natin. So, x plus 5 divided by 5 times x minus 5. Using the following method, we have x squared, the outer term, minus 5x, the inner term, plus 5x, and then the last term, which is negative, negative 5. Okay? And then let's combine that terms. Negative 5 plus positive 5x, this is going to be canceled, at the natira x squared just the same as the that's it okay let's try this example 3x to the 4th power plus x cubed minus 5x squared minus 2x plus 4 divided by x minus 2 so polynomial yan by polynomial tignan muna natin kung yung degree ng polynomial natin I see, so what's so, so, 4, 4, 8, 2, 1, and then the constant. So let us try to divide now using the long division. is equal to 3x4. 
then we solve the term three x cubed times negative two. That is negative six x cubed. So let us subtract. Change the signs of the subtraction. Okay. Then we see the addition. So this one is cancelled already. Then positive x cubed plus positive six x. This one is seven x. Let's break down the second the next problem. Okay, now, 7x cubed divided by x squared. So, again, we must subtract x squared by negative 1. So, plus 7x squared. So, 7x squared times x is equal to 7x cubed. 7x squared times negative 2, that is negative 14x squared. Then let us subtract again. Negative, positive. Change the operation to addition. This one is 0. And negative 5 plus positive 14. So this one is 9x squared. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So let's bring down the next term. 9x squared. Okay. So x 
x minus 2. Let's make it black. The one of first term, x times x cubed. This one is 3x to the 4, which is this one. Okay? And x times 7x, we have 7x cubed. The next x times 9x equals 9x squared. X times 16, we have 16x. Now, negative 2 times 3x cubed. So we have negative 6x cubed. So let's just align. Negative 6x cubed. Right? Negative 2 times 7x squared is equal to negative 14x squared. Next, negative 2 times 9x, we have negative 18x. And then negative 2 times positive 16 is equal to negative 18. Yes. Okay. Then the plus add 3x plus 4, okay, and then positive 7x plus negative, we have positive x cubed, and then we have negative uh, 5x squared, and then this one is negative 2x minus 32, okay. Merimander tayo ng 36, so let us add value in 36. So, plus 36, yung remainder natin, kanina, ito yun, then let's add dun sa constant. Okay, so, negative 32 plus 36, that is positive 4. Okay, so we have the same answer. Ito ay magiging positive 4, which is also the difference. So, tama yung sabot natin.